I appreciate it. One person said uh, the sound of the Leviathan scares the crap out of them, so I'm going to make sure that whenever I hit that point, I'm going to raise that sound level up a lot. <laughs> And the other person said that I created a really good video. I don't. I'll just take their word for it. I don't think these are these are all that good. This is just me having fun and enjoying the game for what it is, and hopefully showcasing to other people that even if you're not a fan of these types of games or you're not really aware of it, well, now you are. A nobody to a nobody. I love those things, those big fish that sound like lions. They're relatively harmless. They occasionally hit you, but for the most part, they're kind of like all bark and no bite. And from here on out, uh, if you hear any noises, that's just my nine-year-old playing on the computer behind me before she goes to school. Say hi, Maya. Hello. And, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> she loves watching me play some of Do you like me watching it or playing it? Watching. Yeah. She likes watching me play it. We used to play it all the time on Xbox and just recently did it, started doing it on the computer for you guys. Usually I would have done this when everybody was in school and the house was quiet, but I, due to me being sick, I kind of haven't been able to do anything. And I have to build a game, I have to write a book, and just, okay, the dog jumped in there. So my plate is kind of full, so I want to get this done. I got a, another segment of warm yogurt this evening that I got to set up for a little after midnight tonight. With my business partner, Mr. J. We'll put that out after this. But anyway, to start out with the power, there's a certain system in place. Uh, whatever is first placed down for power, that's what the uh, habitat uses first. So I throw solar first, throw down solar first so that way it always takes away from solar. And then I like to do uh, thermal because thermal is unending and due to the heat that's right beside the habitat. But in order to do that, I have to go get uh, magnetite, which will be in the, after this episode. I'm splitting this in two, but Anyway, and then you go with uh, like nuclear or something, and then uh, biological, which is where the fish come in that I collected, the two fish that are my best friends.
Now, because I built the habitat, I can go ahead and put uh, plants and whatnot and have them grow inside the habitat as we speak, but I'm waiting because I don't have the particular room built yet. I'll get to that later. Hey, did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Cool. I slept pretty well, too. Went to bed early because we got to talk to I got to talk to Uncle Wayne later on tonight. So I got to be up later this evening. So I'll take a nap later on in the day. For anyone who doesn't know, I have two daughters, a 13-year-old and a 9-year-old. The 13-year-old and I were going to start doing Minecraft series, but we started doing it and her microphone just wasn't picking up too well. She really is a soft talker. just wasn't working out I, I didn't I didn't like it at all and the first recording I did which was two and a half hours recorded the front screen the login screen instead of any of the game so I was really 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 angry so I stopped that I'm probably gonna pick up the series again by myself or at least until uh, my 13 year old gets a better microphone I don't know We'll figure it out. scheme of things the solar panels mean absolutely nothing they're just there currently for for oxygen purposes in the habitat that's all I care about right now and I was stupid and didn't have copper and the rule for everybody that plays video games knows that whenever you go out looking for something you can't find it whenever you're not looking for something it's there right in front of you. Hey Maya, can I steal your headphones when you go to school? Yeah. Cool, thank you. me figuring out the buttons again. I 
I don't know if anybody saw at the beginning of the video, but we have graphics set to ultra high, whatever, the best that I can get. There's a reef back. Still, I found that even later on in the game, copper is difficult to get a hold of. Even uh, gold and silver too. I mean you can find them in the big clusters but all in all it's still much more difficult to get than anything else. And when you get down to the deeper depths it's much more difficult to find titanium which stinks because it's part of your building process and you want to build some cool stuff down there. Maybe I'll get lucky and in the PC version it's uh much much more readily accessible During the editing process, my sound seems very off. Like the sync is just really off. Like at least five seconds. I hope that doesn't translate whenever I translate to the same whenever I go to render this. That'll stink. be alarmed. A lot of the stuff that I'm just leaving behind I'll be able to pick up later whenever I get the scanning room. Here's where I realize my mistake. And it really annoys me. And this is my debate. I'm debating do I want to destroy it all just for that? That scanning room. The answer is yes.
that hurt because they were growing. See what I mean? The reefy reefer is right there. Reaper. <laughs> reaper. The reef back is right next to that place. But I was being shot at by those little thorn plants. Frustration kicks in. never done that before where I had it offset like that and I'm gonna tell you now it's gonna bug me Thank you. 
nice thing is, is watching this after being sick for two weeks, I kind of really want to play again. So I'll do that after the kids go to school. Yeah. Now, the only downside to me uh, having this base right here is that the sharks come and steal my cameras. I never use them, but they steal them. Time to start building necessities for the base. Here's the part where I'm like, oh, I'm going to use a scanning room, only to realize that I don't have the thing for the suit, the HUD, so it's kind of pointless to me doing that. And I walk away shaking my head, sadly. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, uh, wreckage gives you four titanium per wreckage, and titanium is literally the building block of all things building.
Also to anyone who ever builds bases or doesn't know about building bases in this game, go big or go home. There is no point in creating a tiny little shelter at the beginning. Tiny little shelters are used for transfer points for oxygen, battery charging, things like that. The further and deeper that you go into the game, down below, but currently for a living habitat, you want all the necessities. And not just the necessities. you. Everything that you can fit into your base, you want to give it space. Kind of like food. You, you want a room dedicated to just food. Water, same thing. You want it all. And if you want to get fancy and have rooms just for artwork and uh, living room space, eating area, that sort of thing. You can do that too. Doesn't matter. I don't like to. That's the problem with rushing a game, as far as I'm concerned, is because you're just not you're not enjoying the little things that they put all the hard work into the, their their attention to detail you skip over and that's the difference between turning a game that's that can be literally an hour and a half long by just playing it to beat it and turning it into hours upon hours 40 plus games 40 plus hours of game time. This game, to me, has always been, even without creative mode, uh, is an endless game. You can constantly do things. There's, it's unlimited, the amount of things that you can do. And I appreciate that with the devs. They really took that detail to the next level. I can't wait for them to finish Below Zero, which is the second part of the second game. I own it, but it's still an alpha, and I don't want to play with that currently right now. So, because alpha's all right, but I've played enough of the Xbox version where they haven't ported the patches yet from PC over to Xbox, and it's just it's horrendous. I can appreciate playing an alpha and a beta in a game, but I wouldn't want to put that, record it, and put it out there for everybody to see just because, well, for example, this game, and if the devs stick to their theme, then just land alone doesn't render in as fast as everything else, so sometimes you get stuck and killed underneath the ground, that sort of thing, or things don't load up properly, and eh. Not worth it. I can't wait to put out the finished product, though. Because one thing I can say is, wow, really? That's that's so off. What are you doing? Anyway, uh, that the devs stick to their own theme on what they do, then it's going to be another fantastic game, just like this one. I don't know if it's just the building of the habitats or the exploration or the amount of monsters that you can find or just the survival. I don't know, maybe all of it. But it's they're all great works of art as far as I'm concerned.
might have fixed the problem with the sink to the sound. I don't know. We'll find out. coming up on the end of the video. <coughs> so remember, drop a like, leave a comment. I look forward to interacting with all of you. Like I said, I'm really late to the game, to the party, and I'm okay with that. And we'll see you next time. Later.